with your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team sponsored by AC Designs. Rain and storms are streaming in uh, off the Pacific Pacific across much of California here this evening and you might be wondering, well, why are we taking a look at weather, you know, the whole way across the other side of the country? Well, this is where our next storm system is going to be coming from. High pressure stays over us through the start of the weekend, but that storm system treks its way across the Four Corners region through Texas and the Louisiana area and then just kind of sinks down into the Gulf Coast and eventually slides its way towards us by Sunday. Rain likely moving in just after lunch or midday there on Sunday and then continuing through the majority of your Sunday afternoon and evening. So that'll be the next big talker here over the next couple of days. But until then, thankfully, we've got some pretty nice weather to just kind of get out there and enjoy a little bit of a cool start tomorrow morning. Temperatures going to start off at sunrise right around that 40 degree mark and then gradually warming up into the low to mid 60s by tomorrow afternoon. Cloud cover will also gradually begin to increase as well, really by late tomorrow evening and then continuing overnight and into early Friday morning. But just as quickly as the clouds arrive, uh, they disappear as well. So your Friday afternoon and evening should see a lot more sunshine and temperatures. We're going to bump those up a few degrees as well into the upper 60s to end your work week. There also should be a very nice evening Friday night. If you have any uh, outdoor dinner plans or if you're going to the Iceman game, temperatures really shouldn't be all that chilly. Upper 50s and a pretty uh, cool, quiet night for a lot of folks out there. And then we have a very, very big weekend here across the first coast. The Donna 5K is being run on Saturday morning. Finishing at the bank there Saturday morning. Cool start to the run. Temperature is going to be in the upper 40s and lower 50s, but then gradually warming up into the low 60s by the time that 5K is wrapping up. And really, Saturday is going to be the pick of the week here, or at least of the weekend. Pretty classic day. Temperatures pretty seasonal, mid 60s, lots of sunshine out there. And then Sunday, that's when things kind of take uh, a downturn for the worse here a little bit. Winds are going to pick up and again, those showers are going to start to move in by likely midday and then continue through the afternoon and evening. So for the Donna Marathon being run down at Jacksonville Beach Sunday morning, the majority of the runners should stay dry up until again about late morning, early afternoon at the latest. Then some of those showers are going to start to move on in temperature wise. We're going to be talking mid 60s. So not too chilly, but uh, windy and a little bit rainy out there as well. Now, once that storm system slides off the East Coast, we're actually still going to be dealing with it through at least the first half of next week. Some scattered showers from Monday and Tuesday and also strong northeasterly flow onshore flow here to the first coast could bring us some pretty large waves anywhere from five to six, even seven foot waves. So we'll be watching for some beach erosion by the middle part of next week as well. But again, until then, beautiful weather for your Groundhog Day. And on Saturday, rain returns then back to the first coast by Sunday and continuing into the first part of early next week.